So the Wilson team is Marcus Dewhurst in goal, Jack Cook, the captain, Charlie Barker, Taran Alarakia, Nathan Ferguson, Max Kretschmar, Charlie Seaman, Sam Bowen, Jaden Mundell-Smith, Aaron Henry, and up front, Sean Adarqua. And on the bench for the Stones this evening are Dionysus Woodman, on loan from QPR, Alex Dyer, Corey Andrews, Micah Obiero, and Brandon Mason. And our visitors Maidenhead this evening line up with Craig Ross in goal, Zico Azere, Sam Beckwith, Will de Havilland, Kevin Locko, Ashley Nathaniel George, Jaden Mitchell Lawson, Toby Show Silver, Casey Pettit, Reese Smith, and Remy Clarima. And their substitutes are Sean McClowski, Chanka Zimba, Alan Massey, former Stones, popular defender, captain 10 or so years ago. Sam Barrett and Charlie Adams. In fact, the crowd's looking a bit more populous now as uh, people crowding into the stands behind the goal. It's, uh, it's squally, I would say, and it's drifting from right to left here across the Vale. So against Wilstone in the first half, Sam Bowen having trouble there. He's lost the ball. And a bending effort that really should have done far better. Ree Smith, who is Maidenhead's top scorer, with seven goals this season, but he bent that agonisingly close. Certainly Maidenhead, who've had most of the possession in this first 10, 15 minutes. And the win is going to help with his throw. De Havilland and Locko both in there. Half header away. And a shot on the turn from Ree Smith. A very good save by Marcus Dewhurst. Still waiting for the first real attack. And again, another loose pass again, and as Toby Show Silver has picked it up. And he's got uh, Nathaniel George to his left. He's gone to his right, and he hits a tremendous effort. And another good save from uh, Marcus Dewhurst. He's been, well, I was going to say the busier of the two keepers, by far the busier. And Wilson have lost it in their own box, and it's only a matter of time for a maidenhead score, surely. And again, a good recovery tackle from Charlie Barker. Looking to find half a yard. A good touch towards the far post. And the ball has somehow bobbled wide. Charlie Barker got a, such a dangerous touch across the box. And it comes again. A little bit short of the near post. Good head by, by um, Nathan Ferguson. One of his first touches of this half. Ball again played in. And he's gone back to the far stick. And Nathaniel George bending the ball way over the top of the bar. It can't be a very pleasant for evening out here with the, with the wind and rain in his face. Nah, keeper's nightmare tonight. Ree Smith hitting the ball and it's deflected towards the crossbar off Nathan Ferguson for another corner to Maidenhead. Now Jaden Mundell-Smith. Looks like really are playing against the elements in this first half, so it could be interesting to see how things change. Mundell-Smith getting the ball to Adarqua. Can he play the ball back in? working the ball to his right foot he's got people on the edge of the box and he fires wastefully over in terms of holding the ball up it's, uh, it's a good part of his game Barker losing out in the air and a foul by Cook that is dangerous to the Wilson captain I'm not sure did he, was he booked Luke he did you notice yeah he's off and here's a booking second booking for Jack Cook and he's off no, I think it counts in the trophy. Here we go. Ball over the top. Cleared the crossbar. I think that was Sam Beckwith. Ball in tantalisingly with his left foot. To the danger area. Wilson trying to defend. And the ball is prodded towards the corner. And remarkably, it dribbles wide of the post. And the pressure is unremitting here. A bit like the rain. Ball played in again, Dewhurst gets a punch, half a punch, Alarakia. Well, he didn't make the connection that he wanted, but he managed to get the ball out into the Maidenhead half. Woodman has a mouthful of water down below us, and the ball is thrown to Nathaniel George. Dinking inside and out to his left foot. Tempting the challenge, the ball played across, and well claimed by Dewhurst. Charlie Seaman. Not the pass he really intended there. 
It's never going to happen. And here's a chance for Barrett from range. So not, he's not being allowed on for a moment. And Wilson trying to defend this through Ferguson. He's, he's another one. He's got to be careful now. Good ball into the box. And Mikulski, well, he swung and missed. Better effort there, though. Not a bad one from number 16, Casey Pettit. Wilson, of course, only with 10 men in this game. After Jack Cook sending off towards the end of the first half. Here's a chance for Nathaniel George. Coming inside and outside. A great low effort, beaten away by Dewhurst. Doing really well. Here's a chance for Corey Andrews to have a run at Wilder Haviland. And he's done it. He's come inside. Inside and outside. And he's going to be a, get a shot off here. The angle is always against him. Would have been something of a miracle if he'd uh, even got a shot on target there. Ball through, play through to the edge. And here's Barron, I think it is Nathaniel George with a great chance. And he hits the net for Maidenhead. And finally they've made the breakthrough. Well, desperate for Wilson, who have defended so heroically in this half. And Alaraka is still complaining about the perceived foul or maybe the corner earlier on. But I think Sam Barrow, who, who played the ball back to Nathaniel George on Maidenhead, tripped into the near post. Well defended. Now he's got a chance to play it again. That's a great ball in. And the header into there. No! Blocked! Well, it looks like the ball had gone into the net there for the moment off Woodman. Or Corey Andrews, in fact, I think it was. And Woodman with both a hand. What a and great ball in from... A fantastic ball in, yeah, from Aaron Henry. Well, if you're off the pace, even to a small degree, you're going to get bitten, aren't you, in this yeah. league? Good ball up by Henry. There's a chance for Corey Andrews. Trying to repeat his heroics of last Saturday. It all comes off. Henry really sliced so badly across that. It's not even going out on the far side. But here comes to Charlie Seaman. Plays the ball into the box. Well defended. And there is the final whistle. Bring the curtain down on a hugely disappointing game, really. Uh, Grosvenorville, Willstone with their least impressive performance of the season, I'd say, by some way. Yeah. Just couldn't get to grips with the conditions, the squally rain and the wind, and a very tigerish Maidenhead team, who deservedly won with a goal from the former Willstone youth player, Ashley Nathaniel George. <laughs>